What's going on guys? I am back. I am playing Resident Evil 7. This is part 3 to the walkthrough. So last episode we killed Jack, he killed us, and then we killed him. And then he's back. And now we're going to come into the basement, and you're going to see this black moldy shit everywhere. That's a bad sign. You're going to have a bad time if you see this shit. So there should be a guy around this corner. No. Okay, he's around the next corner. I'm sorry. Right there. He's face. So shoot, shoot him. And what we're going to do is come into this door. The reason why my gun is so powerful is because it's not because infinite ammo is because oh, well, infinite ammo helps. But this is a gun that you get for beating the game. It's like the end gun. Uh, it's pretty much a steroided out version of the pistol. It's very, very helpful. Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. And I have the enhanced ammo on Because you get, if you mix this strong cam fluid with gunpowder, you'll make um, enhanced handgun ammo. And it's really helpful. Actually, right here. Uh, should I show you guys? Fuck it. I'll waste it right now just to show you guys. So you combine the strong one with that, and you get, see, enhanced handgun ammo. Um, so that's what I'm using right now. That's why my pistol is so powerful. So basically, here's another puzzle. So, the answer to it is, I honestly forgot. Um, excuse me, let me go right here. Just remember, three A's and a handprint. So, that means it's going to be this handprint right here. Open that one. It is going to be this last one right here. Because as you can see, Sean, 1A. William, 1A. Laura, 2A's. This one you can't open yet. So you're going to come to this end one, open it. Let's see right there. That one. Tamara, Tamara, whatever. Tomato, tomato. So when you open this, a guy's going to come out. If you want to, you can just follow the strategy that I do. It'll be pretty fucking handy. Watch this shit. Watch, watch. So a guy right there. Grab that and run. And run! And you can just walk out and you can shut the door. They can't open doors, so you can literally just do this. Do this. And they can't open the door. They'll make a lot of fuss and a lot of noise, but they won't open it. I'm gonna kill him though, because I'm a dick. Alright. So after that, I'm actually gonna discard this ammo. So I don't need it. So now we're gonna come out here. Don't go in there. That's gonna be it in a little bit. I'm gonna come over here, open this. There will be an antique coin, like right. Sorry. I swear to God, I'm hearing shit. Grab that antique coin. I don't know if it's just like raining in here or. Grab that. Okay, so I only have room for one more thing. So there's the scorpion key, you need to grab that. But here's also that treasure photo. So you're gonna wanna grab this and examine it. So this is where I said last video, uh, where there's a treasure. Seeing, there it is. So now I could discard that because I don't need it anymore. I wanna turn around, I wanna grab this key. That means a guy should spawn. Right here. Yep. Nailed that landing, bro. And come in here, another guy should spawn. Remember Madhouse, man. Madhouse difficulty, that part scared the shit of me. They're like these, like, four, like, these are like these molded that are, like, on all fours. They look like fucking Spider Man when he's crawling up a wall. Dude. They are the most intense things I've ever seen in my life. Like, I'm at house. Like, they are fucking relentless and this scares the shit to me. Like, I get nightmares. Okay, because I'm a saveaholic, so I'm just going to save. And then I kind of forgot out what else we do. Oh, I remember what we do. Okay, we're going to come down here. Go back through here. 
Or if you really, really wanted to. Okay. I'm about to. I, um, what, what good is a walkthrough if I'm not showing you guys what to do, right? Here we go. The problem with this strategy is, is that if you do this, Jack is still going to be up there. So you're going to have to pick your poison here, guys. Um, basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to put that away, put that away, and put that away right now. Because I, I need to make some room here. All right. So use this at your own discretion. Um, God damn, my guy's moving slower. I never really noticed the difference in those shoes until right now. Yeah, I'm taking those shoes again. Okay. So basically, like I said, use this at your own discretion, guys. It's kind of um, it's helpful. However, so see Scorpion Key? You can use this now. However, Jack is still up here, so you will run into him. <laughs> like, it's going to happen. So, just be prepared. Don't move. I think it's our best friend, Jack. Block that shit. You can do enough damage to him to where he'll just kind of fall over. I've done it before because I was fucking nuts. See, so he's gonna pass out pretty much. Oh no, I don't want to close the door on me. But he will get back up, just, just so you are aware. So you're going to want to put the key in here. Close the door, bro. Okay. So grab this. It's important. Grab it. Uh, burn your fuel. That'll be for the flamethrower that you'll eventually get. Cam fluid. I'm going to take that for health. That's pretty much it, though. Shotgun shells, ammo, and there is that broken shotgun. So... If you wanted to, you could go down and get this shotgun right here. Like I said, Jack will get back up, so... Go back the way we came. See, the problem is I don't have enough room for this uh, shotgun. So basically what you can do is you could grab this shotgun, I don't have enough room for it, but you could grab it, and then this is basically gonna lock you in. So you're gonna take it and replace this with the broken shotgun. And that's how you get that shotgun. I'm not gonna take it, because I would rather hold on to it for a bit. Like after the boss fight, you could actually get a this uh, repair kit and it'll fix the broken shotgun. So I'm gonna hold off until that happens. Okay, so save again. Wait, I don't know why I'm saving. What am I doing, guys? Sorry. Uh, I meant to go over here. I'm gonna deposit that, deposit that, and move that, move that. Give me back the dissection key and the circular saw. And we're about to go fight Jack. Again. Now I save. Now I've already been playing for an hour, dude. We have an hour's worth of walkthrough video for you guys. It's ridiculous. So we're just going to run back over here. Over here. Go into this room. And there should be guys spawning, just so you're aware. We have one spawn behind you, always. Damn, accuracy for days, boys. Right now you're dead, bitch. This guy's freaking me the fuck out, guys. Oh my god. Dude, this guy's freaking hard. These guys are hitting super fucking hard, dude. Then again, oh, you know what I forgot? Know what I forgot? The fucking treasure for you guys, dude. What am I doing? I'm a terrible walkthrough, man. Terrible walkthrough, Cheddar. Just fucking dislike the video. This is ridiculous. Wait, why'd I heal? Oh my god. You don't need to heal if your health is red right there. I don't know why I did that. Basically, you can come back through here. Where that treasure was. It's steroids, pretty much. It'll increase your max health and automatically heal you. So, come to this rock. Press A. 
and steroids. So I'm going to use that right now. And see your max health increase. So that's what that does. So you don't need to heal yourself like the dipshit cheddar just did right there. So now we're going to go fight Jack. I wonder why those guys are hitting so hard. I don't have a lot of health. That's why. I'm just having a lot of health where I can take a couple hits. And then I'm just, it's not happening. So what do I got? Okay, I got enough room. So. Go back through here. The shotgun is very helpful with the molded though. Like I highly suggest getting it. If you can get it, because it is so fucking helpful, it's ridiculous. I'll probably grab that later. Watch out, there'll be a guy right there behind you. So just FYI. Oh my god. Don't fucking smile at me, bitch. So I killed him. There'll be another guy over here. There he is. Cheddar's God. Fuck you, bro. Damn, if you take like my 0% with that, with those, that's like 75% right there. That was amazing. I don't really open this. I don't really know. Okay, strong chem fluid. I don't need that. I think there's ammo back there. But basically, you're going to come right here and use that dissection room key. And you're going to want to go for that head, but then this guy's going to fucking take it like a dick. I was going to be your father. Sorry. That was my foot. Hitting something. No, 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 no. I will find him. And I will make him suffer. Are you my friend? Will help me. The dog has like gone through his pocket. Alright. Now what we're gonna do is come over here. And there should actually be that fucking dickhead four-legged one that I told you breaking through that door. Wait, is it right here? No, it's not right here. Okay, that's later. Thank God. I almost had a fucking panic attack. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. Boss fight time. Did you come in here, find some... some shit? Like that. Um, the cop. Okay, so here's going to be the boss fight. I'll show you the easy way how to do it, and then how you're... N okay. I'm going to show you two ways of how to do this. That's pretty much it. Here we go. So you're going to grab this. Then who would have guessed? Jack's hand in my face. Okay, the beginning part of this fight, you're literally just going to be shooting the shit. I can't even fucking move, dude. What's this fucking bitch? Reload, 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 reload. Boom, headshot, miss. Boom. See, and then he does that, and that's when he's weak, so you're just gonna wanna do that. He's gonna walk over to the chainsaw and grab it. This strategy is a lot easier if you have this. All you gotta do is this. So now he's about to strike, just duck. So you could do that, or you could grab this. And this is the actual way you're supposed to Kick this body bag into him. Oh my god, dude. This is why I don't do the loop. To kick this fucking there you go. See that happens and you just swipe. So then he does that shit. He's just You're not blocking. Bang to him. I do that. Spikes. Pretty much all you have to do for this part. Probably like I said. The other strategy is a lot easier. See, so this happens, and then he'll... Okay, it's a little bit extreme, but he'll do that. And then you hold L and R, and he'll do that. 
problem is I don't want to do this, so I'm just going to do this. I like this strategy better. You can also do this with a knife if you want to. See, then he explodes. So that's the end of that jo <laughs> that jack fight. Let me heal up real quick. Grab this for uh, this other first aid. If you guys take him forever to to do the first aid, just block and it'll cancel out like the end of the heal, so you don't dead. have to watch it. All right. So see, with this part, oh, your guy pulls out the chainsaw out of his ass. Well, that's nice. That's that's always great. And the guy just automatically has the weapon you need. That's always a good sign. So he's gonna chop through that. So now this shit's open. Open the door, and then we're gonna go back the way we came. I can't see the fucking door. There it is. Like I said, you can check all the spots that I'm not checking. The fuck was that, dude? I don't go the other way, because if you go the other way, more guys are going to spawn. So I go the same... After I clear an area out, I go through that area. Because if you're, if you're going to go the long way that I first went through when I first went down there, there'll be guys that are spawning. So that's not, not a good idea. I wouldn't do it. I don't recommend it. So I'm gonna, I don't know, you don't need to save. Don't fucking listen to it. you don't need to save right there. If you're on Madhouse, save. Grandma doesn't do shit, you can't even shoot her, she so like. I highly recommend saving after big events like the boss fight and shit. So you're gonna wanna put the third dog head in here. And, open. and this is where you're gonna find the, um, I don't want to lockpick. This is where you're going to find that uh, repair kit that I was telling you guys about. Uh, right? No. Don't grab that. That's actually kind of helpful on Madhouse because you could like separate ammo and shit for um, first aid if you need it. So it's kind of helpful, but on this difficulty you don't really need it. So you're going to break this down, come through here, shoot that, and there's the repair kit. So that will fix the broken shotgun that we picked up. Uh, if you want to, you can put the other shotgun back and grab the broken one that you switch it out with. If you want, it's up to you guys. Uh, this second shotgun is more powerful. However, it only holds two shots instead of the four that the uh, that the traditional shotgun holds. So, completely up to you guys. I prefer the more bang for my buck. So, I do the... Um... Oh, there's a bobblehead right here. And Cheddar's accuracy is on fucking point today. I personally prefer the broken shotgun, so that's what we're going to do right now. God, when do I get a backpack, dude? Oh, I know where the... Okay. I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I got it. So, I'm going to put anti-coin away. Actually, this is where the anti-coins go. They go into here. So you got steroids. You got a stabilizer. Stabilizers... You can read the description if you press it right here, but I'll just tell you right now. Steroids increase max health, stabilizers increase your reload speed, and there is a magnum right there. You won't have enough anti-coins to get all of them, just so you're aware. Because this one takes 3, 5, so that's 8, plus another 9, that's 17. Um, and to, uh, maybe you could. I swear there's something else you could get, though. So maybe you could get everything on this playthrough. Uh, I know I'm at house, I couldn't, so I don't need a magnum. I'm going to go with steroids and um, stabilizer. Because I'm already going to have unlimited ammo, so I don't really need it. Uh, where's it at? So I'm going to use that. And I want to get this.
There you go. So now my reload speed is increased. Uh, you can pick up that broken handgun if you want. It's a little bit stronger than the handgun you have that you're going to have. Um, I'm not going to do it. I don't need it. So I'm going to put these shoes away, grab this broken shotgun, and then I'm going to repair the broken shotgun. With, so you can either repair the broken shotgun or the handgun. So it's up to you guys. I prefer the shotgun. So that's just my personal preference. You don't need to follow that if you don't want to. It's up to you guys. Um, I don't believe we need the scorpion key anymore, so I'm going to put that back. I'm trying to think if I need it. No, I think it only locks two doors. I'm going to save right here. And then I'm going to end the video, actually. But there is, as soon as you open this door, the phone's going to ring. See? So now I'm just going to end it on this phone call. So I well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next part will actually be running away from the mom. So that would be a blast. So I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. are contaminated. I can't leave the property unless I get it out. And the same goes for Mia. Is there a way to get it out? We need the serum. It should clear whatever this stuff is out of the body. As long as you're not too far gone. All right. So where is it? If I knew where one was, I'd already be long gone. But I have a feeling my mother has hidden some inside the old house somewhere. So if we get this thing, I can help Mia and we can get out of here? And so can I. The old house is near the water. You can't miss it. All right. I just hope you can handle my mother. Your mother? Be careful. They'll be looking for you.